three, two, one. Ahoy, friends. It's me, Dave Landau. After a long night on stage, I like to kick back with a captain's hat and a fine cigar and watch the Dennis and Andy show. These guys are huge nerds, but they're the kind that you actually want to hang out with. Enjoy them. I do. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dennis and Andy show. Well, Andy, Good day. what is that on your face? I don't know what you're talking. Oh, you mean my. So we went to Arby's and my kid, who is, you know, a young adult, 19, got a four piece chicken kids meal and it came with this toy. Rock 'em, sock 'em robots, baby. Oh, that was a great game. Yes, it was. So I was like, I'll take those. She didn't even know what the hell it was, so that's all. So I thought, wow! Was, um, so those came; those are rock and sockum robot glasses slash facewear. I guess so. I guess so. So Dennis, what uh, what is on topic today? I I did a live stream earlier on my channel, Drawing Gambit, but um, and then I did tease out on on Wednesday. We'll be talking about the Orville and. Uh, Jurassic World, so nice. people are all teased up for that. Well, excellent. Well, look at Joe. Joe joined us. This is this is a sporadic, spur of the moment one we just decided to do. Um, so what happened was um, my wife had found uh, it's a documentary about Galaxy Quest. Never Surrender, a Galaxy Quest documentary on Amazon Prime. And we decided to watch it. Wow, did they do a love service for fans. It was an absolutely phenomenal uh, documentary. Um, it was so good that even though it was late, we both decided we have to. Uh, huh. Hold on, let me see. Let me it's plug in these little headphones and see if it'll stop. I tell Dennis he needs to wear headphones, but he just won't do it. Don't usually have the problem. We'll see if that do works. Do we still have not. an echo? Probably no more echo, I'm going to assume. Go ahead. All right. So we're going to... Uh, so it was such a great documentary that we watched. We stayed up late and watched Galaxy Quest. You know, it's not like we haven't seen it a million times. But when we got done, it was, it's just, it is such a good Star Trek movie. I mean, it's just utterly fantastic. And our echo went away. Thanks, Joe. How do you so, not own Galaxy Quest? We all own Galaxy Quest. I mean, I own many versions of it, you know, and uh, had, I had it on DVD, you know, got it on, on Blu-ray and, uh, you know, it's all digital now. But so I watched it again. But then I said to myself, self, you know, self. I collect all these other starships. I wonder if they don't have the Galaxy Quest starships. I get the Eagle Moss, you know, I do models, I get toys. So I did a search and lo and behold, everybody, a couple of things. This is what we're going to unbox today. The Galaxy oh. Quest NSEA Protector. Oh, yeah. Pegasus Hobbies, they actually don't make toys, but they make models. I just don't have the time to build models, and they never turn out quite as nice as I want them to. So this is actually considered a pre-done model. Oh, I'm wow. sorry. I just heard you whining about not having time to build models and stuff. So, 
I know. I I know. So I wound up picking up uh, this Pegasus Hasm, where it's a pre-assembled model kit. And you know me, I do love the weapons and everything like that. So I also picked up the Ion Nebulizer and the Vox Communicator. Oh, yeah. I know. So I figure, why not unbox them and let's take a look at these. This is my first thing. You can see the back. Pegasus Hobbies is who I'll puts it out. I'll let you do this. Uh, I'm going to remove myself so people can see it large, but you'll still hear my wonderful voice. There you go. Yeah. So that's Pegasus. I've never ordered from them before in my life, so I have no idea what to expect. So I brought up some tools. We'll see what uh, how this turns out, and we'll see what kind of quality that we get. Um, they're not horribly expensive, I think. Um, the communicator, I was just seeing if they had a price on it. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I had paid for it. Yeah, I think it was like 25 bucks. No, I'm not expecting anything fantastic. So you got my clippers and everything like that. But, uh, you know, they're plastic. They're not working. It's not like, uh, you know, my uh, Diamond Select or my movie props and stuff like that. I have very low expectations of it, but still kind of oh. want to find out. Why do you have wow. such low expectations? Low expectations. That's sad. I would like to have high expectations, but for twenty-five I mean, you have bucks, high expectations. you know they're plastic. You have high expectations of me. Well, that's totally different. Well, I don't so know let's take a look. So the button does depress. That's what she looks like. And you know, these Ooh. are what what they look like right from uh, the TV show. So you'll be able to compare them. Nice. They actually look very nice. Does it make a noise? Does not make a noise, nor does it light up. These are just plain old models, um, which is kind of a bummer because I would love it. You can actually see, this is where I bet if they had an electronic version, I could not find an electronic version. So as you guys watch this in, in later on down the road, uh, leave your comments down below if you know of anybody who makes working props because it looks like they make a this looks like a version that would pop up and you put batteries in. Um, I could not find anything with it, but I got to admit, that's not a half bad looking uh, a little prop. And then we have the communicator. All I do is I kind of clip these out just like I do model pieces. Don't break it. Oh, I'm not going to break it. I mean, you have oh, yeah. bought it, so if you break it, you've already bought it. So, Look at that. Oh, oh, it's got a button. I would have broke it. And it releases oh, it. open. I feel like Brandon from there. Oh, it's not just a toy. It actually works. So, yep, the Vox Communicator. Again, not half bad. Not half bad. This, I'm sure I'm going to find room down in my Star Trek stuff. I'm going to be able to display these. They can battle each other. I can it's come got a over. Hinge. It's got a release mechanism. So again, it was 25 bucks for those completed. Otherwise, I would have had to build these myself. Not so, not so good. Now I can attest to that. I've seen models that he's built himself. So, not so I, I've good. got. I actually showed uh, way back when I did the Enterprise, uh, the NCC one seven zero one A, and that turned out pretty well, um, you know, considering. Considering you were the one to put it together, what do you mean? Wow, that's in there pretty good. Hell yeah. You paid a pretty penny. I did. I did. And this one, this one was about 60 bucks. Looks 
looks like wow. it's got its stand on the bottom. It actually says Galaxy Quest. No, wow, this looks like it's a nice, uh, very nice. I can't wait to get in and check out the details. Look at you clipping stuff. I know, right? You know, they, they do have this in very well. So, I mean, I'm, I am very happy with that. There is no way, barring uh, UPS or the post office taking it and crushing this, uh, that it would come damaged. It's in very well. So the packaging Did it come solid. regular mail? How'd you get it? Regular mail? Uh, I think they delivered it FedEx. Oh. Yep. Another clip down here. So it's got a buildable stand that's on it. Joe says Sigourney Weaver looked great on Galaxy Quest. She did. By the way, isn't it funny how Adrian Pilecki uh, on Orville and Rebecca Romaine, number one on Strange New Worlds, kind of look like sisters. Ooh. I don't watch Strange New Worlds, so I'll take your word for it. I'm going to admit, that really is the best Sigourney Weaver's probably ever looked. And I, that's it, meant as a it, compliment. No, it it is. She looked really good. Uh, she's on. got one job to do just one job and she's gonna do it that's right so you can see i'll show you the up front before i attach it so there's your front Ooh. hold on i'll full screen you hold on hold on there you go then we'll rotate to the top Oh, that's NS, cool. That's a nice NTA ship. NTA 3120. Now, trivia question. Uh -oh. Does anybody know what NTE stands for? I do. Does that count? It might count. We'll see if Joe knows since he's the only one that came on. That's okay because we didn't it, it didn't talk about it. We didn't. This was spur of the moment, so I am totally fine. I'll take... What is not the Enterprise for 500, Alex? That is correct. Nice. And check it out. Even on the back where their turbo boosters are, you can actually see it right into the back there. Nice blue. So while they don't light up and make noises like my other ships, I mean, look at the detail. Even, even the windows and stuff like that. That is this really is, cool. This Seeing is the scale. really nice. The, the windows really give it scale. Yes. You know, of how big it is with the different levels and stuff. Yeah, and you can see Tommy taking it out of space dock, going, pretty awesome. Now, all in all, this is nice. So it's got a stand for the base at the bottom. So I'm just going to attach it. A little loose. Not horrible. That's what she said. Show Galaxy Quest. Did you hear what I said? No, what'd you say? You said a little loose, not horrible, and I said that's what she said. Oh, that's probably why I didn't hear you. I tuned you out at, at that point. You bastard. You know, they really do. This is kind of cool how they have it because this is very reminiscent of the Starship Enterprise, what they, what they do on the, on the dorsal. Yeah, But, uh, you know, honestly, I'm going to admit that this is a really nice looking. I'm going to definitely find room for this. Uh, uh, in my case, one of these days I'm going to wind up having to do, uh, I'll do a man cave one, and then I'll do one in the reading room where I have all of these on there, and then you guys can take a peek at them. But now let's get real. Like it's hard to find space. Just take one of those dumpy enterprises because you've got enough. Kick it to the curb and put that up there. No, because they're all different. I don't have one Enterprise that I have a double of. It is not foam. I know Joe's asking, uh, Easter egg NCA Wait, how about Sigourney Weavers on the first Ghostbusters? Very good there, too. Can't argue that. Although She was. She she did have a, a fake boob job and stuff for Galaxy Quest. Yeah, um, that was a little upsetting. It was. but Because but I was, was looking great. at it going... Back when that movie came out, I was like, wait a second. 
Are they bait and switching me? That's not her rack. Joe's asking, is it foam? No, this is all plastic. And again, the plastic is solid. You can even hear it. So it is it is definitely a nice, sturdy plastic, well built. You can't you can see a, so barely the seams on it. So again, if I were to put this together, I don't know if I could do the as good of a job as what this is because even the stickers are perfectly aligned and everything that's on it. So now this is this is good. This is stir, sturdy, solid. My wife was uh, not very happy that I picked these up, but now honestly, if we want to know how sturdy it is, I think you should stand up back about ten feet from the camera so we can see your feet and drop it and see if it holds up. Yeah, no. Ooh, no. your internet looks messed up. You look fuzzy. Oh, you had looked fuzzy earlier. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's possible I am getting the little bar. So, anyway, there's that. So, we get to, again, we'll take a peek at it. Perfect size. I think these are, are, are definitely to scale. Um, I hope everybody can, uh, can see that. This is solid. Um, if you guys are fans of it, again, Pegasus. Um, Pegasus Hobbies puts it out. I'm going to show it back up here. I'll, leave, I'll I'll try and find it. Maybe I can leave a link below. Pegasus yeah. Hobbies. They've got to have a website. Fans are the only ones that I know that are putting this out. Um, it because I don't think Eagle Moss has a uh, uh, has the patent for it. They've got to have a right. website. What's that? I said they've got to have a website. Yeah, I didn't actually get it directly through them. I know I got it through uh, one of the geek places. And um, it was very, I had never heard of them before. So I crossed my fingers, I would get it. And I did, and it showed up. And like I said, it was worth the wait. It was worth the price. Definitely it's worth the price. Now, if you guys, they do make non put together ones where you can put them together yourself. You can save some money. They're like half the price. By all means, do that. If you don't have the time or the inclination for good ones, Pick up the the preassembled ones. Excellent oh, so you stuff. mean you mean somebody with talent could get that one? Yeah. Hmm. Now, whoever did that, however they did it, it's great. the The decals are on perfectly; they're perfectly aligned. Like I said, even with the fine details and the little tools that I have, I don't know if I could have done as good of a job. I hear you. I hear you, brother man. Who is this? What? Oh, I get text messages just all throughout. Well, I have something to show. I oh, brought something got? for. I brought something for show and tell. I got in the mail today. Arc Athena, Volume Two, baby, from the Eric Canate Canete. Sorry, um, Volume Two. Feels like I just got Volume One a few months ago, so I got Volume Two. Haven't really had a chance to look at it yet, but once again, it's a nice hardcover. I've got, hold on, I've got number one still right here. It's two of six. So now I've got uh, one and two. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. So I had got number one. I really liked it a lot. I somehow don't know how it I, I missed it on two, so uh, when, when he launches his three, I'm sure he'll have a two-pack because I checked his website. It's not up. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to ask him. It has a sketchbook section in the back, which is cool, but I will have to go back and reread volume one so I can, uh, so I know where I'm at with volume two. So, yeah, so I got that. So that's really cool. Um, so there you go. Very, uh, very nifty and nice, I must say. Uh, I was very happy to get it. Most so, excellent. Yeah, that's a is, good surprise. I'm, excellent. I'm very cool. That's the metal sign. I'm metal. Is, is that what that is, Andy? I'm metal. No, it's this. That is not metal. This. Oh, wait, wrong way. Hold on. Dennis, it's coming for you. Tyrus, Tyrus would be very upset with you. Hey, Dennis, let's fist bump. 
Oh, oh, you mean elbow bump? No, no fist bump. See, oh. you got to do it. Okay, now put your fist towards mine. Bump, bump. Wonder Twin powers activate form of water slide. Yeah, yeah, that that's nice, Wonder Twins. Okay, so on Wednesday's show, it's going to be review, review, review. We've got Jurassic World to talk about. We've got Orville Season 3 to talk about. We've got The Boys Season 3 to talk about. Holy crap. Wednesday, 5 p.m. Stranger Things Part 1. I don't know if we're going to be able to get... That's a lot. That is a lot. But we've we've seen a lot. We have seen a lot. There's Obi-Wan. What are we going to have time for? Oh, Jurassic World's a must. The Boys is a must. We'll be talking Wednesday at 5 p.m. No guests this week. Just reviewing some fun entertainment. Who the hell's calling me? I don't know. I turned it off. Jeez Louise. Geico can save you 15%. Dude, seriously. This is weird. I, the, the number that was calling on my home phone, as soon as I pressed the button to hang up, my cell phone rang with the same number. Oh, my God, the NSA has your number. What the heck is going on? Anyhow, we'll be back Wednesday at 5. Thank you for joining us for the unboxing Galaxy Quest. I need to go back and watch it. It's been a long time. Um, I got my Arc Athena Volume 2. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not in demand. So you'll have to wait till he launches the the campaign for Volume 3 like Dennis to get on to uh That's right. And Volume if you can't two. watch Galaxy Quest, try and hop on and uh, onto Hulu if you've got it, and make sure you're watching Orville. That's right. And until Wednesday, we'll catch you guys later. Bye, everybody. Later, everybody. <laughs>